Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about drug induced autotoxicity. Adverse effects of some drug include damage to the vestibulocochlear nerve. The vestibulocochlear nerve is the eight cranial nerve that is located here and it is connected to the inner ear. It has two parts the cochlear portion that is for hearing vestibular portion for maintenance of balance and equilibrium. Autotoxicity is directly related to the plasma level of the drug and this drug accumulate in the endolymph. Endolymph lymph is present inside the membranous labyrinth and also perilymph. Perilymph is the fluid that is present surrounding the membranous labyrinth inside the bony labyrinth. Vestibular damage causes vertigo and loss of balance this part with the vestibular apparatus of the inner ear, the semi-circular canal, utricle, secule that is connected to the vestibular component of the eighth cranial nerve that lead to loss of balance and vertigo. Cochlear nerve damage causes sensory hearing loss that is loss to the damage to the nerve. This is the cochlear part that is associated with hearing and the nerve is the cochlear nerve, a component of the vestibulocochlear nerve or the eight cranial nerve. What happens? Sound wave is received here. This is the tympanic membrane. These are the ossicle. They move and they push the step is attached to the ovalo window we have fluid system here that there will be wave in the fluid system that is picked up by the hair cell hair cells are connected to the cochlear nerve we have also hair cell in the vestibular apparatus that is those hair cells are receptors here in the cochlea we have also hair cell those are receptor the nerve is connected to the hair cell and the impulse is going to the brain this is the internal acoustic meatus area of the temporal bone okay so a significant number of medication even the prescribed medication other drugs they damage the vestibulocochlear nerve So if you go to the drug induced autotoxicity, we have hair cells. Hair cells are receptors. They are present in the organ of corti. Organ of corti is present in the cochlea here. There will be sensory neural deafness. There is loss of sense, sense of hearing. Maybe that may be irreversible. That affects the fetus in utero. So if, if the pregnant woman takes those autotoxic medication, the fetus will be affected. The baby will born with congenital deafness. Simultaneous intake of another autotoxic drug increases the risk. Sometimes some patient take more than one medication. If both of them are autotoxic, both of them damage the ear, then there will be more chance to get deafness, sensory neural deafness, and also vestibular dysfunction. Correlates to the damage of the organ of corti. Organ of corti is located here. This is the organ of corti. This is present in the cochlea. In the scala media area, we'll get the, we'll get the organ of corti. An organ of corti contains hair cell. Hair cells are folded between the basilar membrane and the tectorial membrane that is sensed by the nerve this is the cochlear nerve like that we have also the vestibular nerve connected to the vestibular apparatus that is also a part of the internal ear this is for hearing that is for balance first symptom is often tinnitus tinnitus means that buzzing sound in the ear that may be the first symptom Okay, so if you go there, we'll go drug in this autotoxicity. This is the inner ear, and we have the endolymph 
lymph inside, outside we have the perilymph. Endolymph is almost like that of the, the plasma fluid and the perilymph is almost like that of interstitial tissue fluid okay so we are getting this is the scala media it contains organ of corti and we have the endolymph here that is the fluid here scala vestibuli that contains the perilymph here and the wave sound wave will cause the folding of the hair cell that is sensed by the cochlear nerve goes to the spiral ganglion going to the brain stem okay so if the hair cells are damaged by some medication we may have sensory neural and we our patient have sensory neural hearing loss sometimes even some medication like that of gentamicin drop in the middle ear cavity in an infected ear it, that may also lead lead to damage to the to the cochlear nerve that may also cause sensory neural hearing loss okay so these are the group of medication that is very important to us to know that okay the vancomycin is an antibiotic this is cell wall synthesis inhibitor that it has adverse effect like autotoxicity hearing loss and also maybe vestibular dysfunction aminoglycoside like gentamicin streptomycin neomycin canamycin tobramycin they are antibiotic they are protein synthesis inhibitor and they their adverse effect or side effect is autotoxicity or internal ear damage. This is the drug. These are the antibiotics. This is streptomycin is an antibiotic and also it is a very much old, well-established anti-TB drug. Furosemide, bumitanide, ethacranic acid, these all are loop diuretics loop diuretics, they work in the loops of Henle of the nephron. They are associated with autotoxicity. They are adverse effect. Cisplatin, this is an anti-cancer drug. One of the adverse effects of this anti-cancer drug and also some of other anti-cancer drug is autotoxicity. Quinine, chloroquine, these are anti-malarial medication. They also causes autotoxicity. NSAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is associated with adverse effect like that of autotoxicity. Erythromycin is an antibiotic. It is a macrolide antibiotic. And one of the adverse effect or side effect of erythromycin is autotoxicity hearing loss. That may be temporary, but in case of streptomycin and other medication, the Autotoxicity may be permanent. There may be permanent hearing loss. We have to remember one important point. This asterisk mark indicates some medication also causes nephrotoxicity plus autotoxicity. So not only internal ear is damaged, also the kidney may be damaged. Okay, and that's all about my presentation on the autotoxic drug, list of autotoxic drug. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me, share the information with your friends and have a nice day. Bye now.